Hello and welcome to i4 Institute. I am Khushbu. I am working as software developer in i4 Technolabs Private Limited. In previous session, I already discussed about CSS. Now in this session, I am going to talk about responsive design with media query and bootstrap. So let's start. What is responsive design? When we need one template to be viewed on different devices like computers, smartphones, tablets, etc., we use responsive design. An approach to web design that provides an optimal viewing experience across a wide range of devices. A responsive website or email has a layout that changes configuration based on what size screen it is viewed on. Creating a catalog of multi-device layout pattern. Here you can see various devices where we can use responsive device. Responsive design. Now, why should you care about media queries? So media queries will allow us to change our layouts to suit the exact need of different devices without changing the content. For example, we will be able to move away from one size fits all solution such as liquid elastic and fixed width layouts. In short, media queries In short, media queries help us to create a layout from many different devices. Now responsive web designing or we can say RWD in a short form. Responsive web designing is a job of a web designer, a web designer's responsibility to make sure the content has to display in all the design perfectly no matter which screen user is browsing the web page. Process of designing a single website to be used and compatible on different portable or handy electronic devices. It is also known as adaptive web designing that is AWD. It is an integrated approach of designing through which compelling and easy to use websites are built to give an optimal viewing user experience across a wide variety of devices starting from desktop computers to mobile phones. Now let's check the benefit of responsive devices. Smooth navigation, easy reading, minimum pinching, reduce scrolling and zooming. Excellent user experience. Now what is the reason we need responsive de device? There are some of the reasons for using a responsive de device. One of them is growing demand for smartphone. In today's world everyone is familiar with a smartphone. So every user wants to surf a information in smartphone using a smartphone. Second one is multiple screen sizes and mobile browser. Third one is wide usage of internet. Fourth one is permits wider browser support. Fifth one is compulsory for getting good business. In order to create a responsive layout, we need to know the compatible sizes of a screen for any device. Here we have all the possible device users used with their screen size. Designers should use appropriate layout to suit completely different screen sizes. For a phone, it is said to be a 480 pixels and below. Phones to tablets is 767 pixels and below. Portrait tablets are 768 pixels and above. Notebooks are 990 pixels to 1024 pixels. And monitors are 1024 pixels and above. Let's look at the syntax of media queries in both ways, that is internal and external. So first one is internal. Here you can see how we can give a media query in an internal way. Here you can see I applied a I applied a background color gray to body part of HTML. And in a me media query, where is a screen has maximum width of 50, 500 pixel, the uh, background color is changed to blue. So you can say that the screen having a lesser resolve, lesser, lesser size than 500 pixel will be affected by background color blue. 
Now another one is external. external. So how we can give uh, media query externally. Here is an example for it. Extend the existing media part of link element or an import rule. There are two ways. So how to use a link element. As you can see here, there is a narrow.css file which contains a CSS for a media query max with 500 pixels. So if you write attribute media and your definition for a screen that is only screen and max with 500 pixels, then when the maximum width is 500 pixels, that is 500 pixels or lesser than 500 pixels, the styling is, is defined as, uh, as written in narrow.css file. Another way is import rule. As you can see here, it is defined by at the rate sign import URL equal to path of the file only screen and max with 500 pixel. That is the uh, maximum width you want to give for a screen. Media queries. We have different examples of media query for different screen sizes. Wide screen media query. It will be written as at the red media screen and minimum with 1200 pixel. It means styles for larger screen is here. It means the minimum width is 1200 pixel. So the screen sizes have a 1200 pixel or greater than 1200 pixel are defined inside a Define inside this small sc small screen media query for small screen media query there is a maximum width of 760 pixels that means styles for smaller screen here style for smaller screen having a maximum width of 760 pixels another one is media screen media query For now, you have understood the concept of responsive design. Now we are going to look at a very powerful media query based responsive template that is Bootstrap. What is Bootstrap? Bootstrap is powerful front end framework for faster and easier web development. It includes HTML and CSS based design template for common user interface components like typography, forms, buttons, tables, navigations, dropdowns, alerts, models, tabs, accordion, carousel and many other as well as optional javascript extension. It gives you a ability to create a responsive layout with much less effort. There are many advantages of using bootstrap so let's move on that. The biggest ad advantage is that it comes with free set of tools for creating flexible and responsive web layouts as well as common interface components. Here are some more advantage why one should opt for Bootstrap. It saves a lot of time, responsive features, open source, consistent design, easy to use, compatible with browsers. Here I already created a demo example for you for better understanding of media query. You can here see that I have written a, a media query where body have by default background color is light green. If there is a media query having a maximum width of 600 pixel, it will have background color light pink. Suppose now uh, if the screen has a maximum width of 300 pixel that is small 300 pixel or smaller than 300 pixel then the body have background color light blue let me run this application here you can see by default it is a light green color now i want to check for other screen sizes so what you have to do is just press ctrl shift m it will navigate to mobile browser now I am increasing the width of the width of the screen. You can see here it will change to light green color when when the width of it is increased from 600 pixel. Suppose it is lesser than 300 pixel. You can see here it is a 168 pixel. So its color is light blue. 
I am increasing that is more than a 300 pixel. You can see it changed to light pink color. Now again, I am increasing its width more than 600 pixel. It changed to light green. This is a, just a demo example for a media query. Now, I, al I already created a second demo example for you for your better understanding. I created a demo example for you, another demo example. Here you can see there are two div having a content div, having a class content div. It, in, the, in this, there is, uh, I have written a text. This is example div1, div2 and div3. Now, I have written a media query. By default, the background of the body is light green. And the CSS applied to content div would be width is 31%. It will float to a left. Background color white. Minimum height is 300 pixel. Margin 1% and color red. Suppose when it has a maximum width of 600 pixel, I just want to change a color of a content div class. So what I have to do is content div in a media query where color equal to green. Uh, another CSS that is width, float, background color, minimum height and margin should be uh, as it is. And only changed will be a color equal to green from red. Suppose I want a media query for lesser, uh, smaller screen that is less than a 300 pixel. So what I want is width should be a 100% which here is the 31%. Okay, but it should be now 100%. Float to left, background color should be a white. Minimum height should be a 200 pixel, which I changed. Margin 1% and color equal to blue. Now, let me run this application. You can see here, the color is red. Background color is white and body is light green. Now I am navigating to mobile browser by Control Shift M. You can see here when it is a lesser than 600 pixel, it has a background color pink and the text color is green. Again, I am less, in, less doing less than a 300 pixel. So you can see the width of the div is 100 percent and the color background color is blue and the text color is blue. So this is just an another example of a media query. Now let me show you one of the example for a bootstrap. Here you can see in head you can see you see here i have given a http link as bootstrap is open source we can get get it from the internet another one is jquery main.js and bootstrap main.js which are essential for a bootstrap template here you can see i have a class jumbotron text center in bootstrap css the class already have a different CSS for a different screen sizes. You can again see here is another div class container inside that row. Inside that I have a three columns. Div call SM4, div call SM4 and div call SM4. Whole row of a div, one row of a screen have four 12 parts. One row of a div have a 12 parts. So you you have you have to decide in how many parts you want to divide your uh, internal div. So here in equal of four, I have divided my three divs. So four threes are 12. So it is divided in three equal parts. Now let me run this application. You can see here 
it has it has a three column that is column one, column two, and column three. Now I am moving to a mobile browser. Control Shift M. Here you can see by by here you can see Bootstrap automatically set its content to the size of a screen. If I increase this size, the content will be set accordingly. This is the main advantage of using a Bootstrap. For more understanding, you can go through these references also. Let's end the session. Hopefully, you enjoyed the session. Thank you so much.